Is AI the genius that we think it is, or are we missing a glaring flaw that turns brilliance into blunders? After years watching Tech Evolve, I'm struck by how these models can dazzle with PhD level insights, yet stumble over some of the basic logic that a toddler can handle. So can we really trust tools that nail complex predictions, but miss the simplest whys behind them? So let's dive into this today and unpack the wild contradiction that is these modern AI systems. Let's go for this. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So the AI world right now is a buzz with the incredible feats, especially as we see like Grok 4 being released with these PhD level, you know, uh, logic, right? But uh, there's a deeper look reveals some interesting head scratching limits. So just like I called out the Web 3's overreach before, I'm spotting patterns here that are going to take a closer that we're going to need to take a closer look at. Right. So let's dive into why these smart machines might not be quite as clever as we hoped. Now, first of all, AI can whip up some poetry. It can code an app and it can explain quantum quirks. Uh, all with some, like some interesting jaw dropping flair, right? Yet it trips over some basic reasoning, like mixing up left and right on a straight line of points. And I've seen this duality in my work. Systems that shine in demos do amazing with data matching, but then falter on some really simple logic, like how to run a, a vending machine company, right? A study uh, from recent, a recent study shows that even the top models like GPT-40 uh, mini contradict themselves at kid level tasks. So it's like watching a chess master lose to a pawn because they forgot how the board works and it's hilarious and yet humbling so this gap forces us into question is ai smarts skin deep or can it grow to a deeper understanding now we first need to understand the why right here researchers at harvard and mit trained a transformer on 10 million simulated solar systems to predict planet paths they hoped it would uncover newton's gravity laws but it just guessed trajectories with wild nonsensical force rules so they tried to feed it newton's gravity laws, and yet it just did a whole bunch of pattern matching and came up with a whole bunch of gibberish. Now, I'd tell a kid planets orbit due to a force tied to mass and distance, but AI can't even get that far. The study found that models rely on shortcuts rather than collapse outside familiar data, not really true physics. So where Elon Musk is talking about that he wants Grok 4 to be doing these physics analysis, right now we're nowhere near that. So I don't know if he's trying to train it just on various different algorithms and see if he can get it to follow that logic, but so far, it's a long ways from it. Now, it's as if AI is playing cosmic pin the tail on the donkey without a map. It's, ac uh, it's accurate, but it's totally clueless. So the, this reveals a core limitation. AI predicts well, but it lacks the why that's going to drive discovery. Now, I want to go to some images here that I have from Karpisky's uh, speech that he gave recently. And this is, a, I think, a really, really good set of discussion on some of this. So he talked about how, and, and if you don't know, Andre Karpisky is one of the top minds in AI. He started OpenAI, then went to Tesla, where he ran their FSD department and really built out a lot of really fascinating things. He built the whole neural net that's trained FSD. Then, which I, in my opinion, is one of the closest things we actually have to true AI today. He then went back to OpenAI for a short stint and then has gone on to do some of his own things. He recently just spoke at Y Combinator, and these are where these slides came from. Now, he talked about how AI has encyclopedic knowledge or memory, and he gave the example of Rain Man, right? For those who have seen this movie, you know, Dustin Hoffman's character could remember some absolutely astounding facts and it could respond to him just as quick as anything. And he lit the toast or lit the house on fire, I think, trying to make toast. And, you know, Tom Cruise teaches him how to drive around a circle and he got really good at driving a circle, but then like, and, you know, ended up crashing the car as soon as he did something outside of the circle. And that's kind of what we're looking at. This is like Rain Man uh, type knowledge where it's this crazy encyclopedic knowledge, but you can't tell it how to go buy a candy store at, at the corner store. It then talks about this jagged intelligence, right? Where it gives some examples, and these are, you know, some famous ones where it says that 9.11 is bigger than 9.9 simply because it doesn't have the mathematical understanding, right? So this is this example of jagged intelligence, right? And you can see even on the chalkboard in the back that 2 plus 2 equals 5, right? Um, another one is this antograde amnesia. And if you've ever been working with it, like, AI will be amazing and incredible, and it'll be working, and it'll be remembering what you did, and then all of a sudden it'll just forget. Or 
Um, you know, it'll, it has no concept of like sleep and then being able to come back to something, right? So it can remember these crazy things, but it can't remember the last command you gave it, right? It can pull up knowledge from the 1600s and yet it can't remember two prompts before, right? So this is kind of the, some of the antigrid amnesia effects that we're talking about. The next one is it's horribly gullible, right? You can get the prompts to do anything. We're seeing a lot of this with AI agents right now where you can get them to do things that they simply should not do because it's very gullible because the whole premise of these is it wants to do pattern matching to try to match what you're wanting to get back. So this is kind of this lossy simulation that he talks about uh, that, that talks about some of these things that is providing that, you know, there's a lot of things we still need to grow with AI. And these are the things that I'm talking about today, right? So a nature study showed that ChatGPT helped folks craft new ideas for gifts, toys, and it outpaced Google search by far. It shines at mixing concepts into clever incremental innovations backed by solid mediation models. But when it comes to wild out of the box leaps, it totally stalled leaning on old patterns instead. So let me rephrase this, right? What it does is it can do these really interesting pattern matches where it gets near something and makes one or two degree change just something slightly different. This is part of the reason why it does decent at coding, right? Is because it can take old patterns and try to put them together into new code. But if you actually want to do something completely new and out of the out of the wild, it definitely can't handle this. So I know I was trying to use it to help me solve a problem where I had 10 stations and I had 17 groups and I was trying to have it help me figure out a rotation for this. And I ended up trying for hours and hours and hours just because I wanted to try to get it to do it and it never ever gave me the correct answer. I couldn't figure out some of those create some of those uh, some of that logic. So I've built systems that can spark creativity and it does amazingly well with some of these things when given certain parameters. But then you get it to just give it even the littlest bit of you know creativity that it's gonna need and it will fall like a brick. So you know AI says A is left of B, right? And so you can picture this for a minute. AI says that AI is A is left of B, but B is left of C and then claims A is right of C. So there's some of these things that it just can't quite understand because if it can't get into the pattern matching, it's gonna trip all over itself, right? So I've coded logic uh, checks for decades and this feels like a system that forgets its own rules mid game. And that's part of the problem. AI is non-deterministic. It means you can give it the exact same inputs twice and get two different outputs, right? So, you know, generally a function says that I give the same inputs and I get the same output. With AI, it's actually deter it's actually designed to not give you the same outputs. That's why it's generative AI, right? What we have today is generative AI. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected and aren't working well together, make sure you reach out to us because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems so your company can work absolutely to maximum efficiency. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer. Now this MIT Harvard research uh, project that I saw before saw AI nail planet trajectories, but invent bizarre force laws, not Newton's. So that's what's really interesting. So it could come up with the planet trajectories because it had basically memorized those from previous uh, loops of the trajectory. But when you asked it why it did that, it would just make up bizarre laws. Now, the case by case thing here is that, um, so it uses case by case tricks that fail when faced with a new solar system or a galaxy. So imagine a chef who cooks great meals but can't explain why the recipe works, right? It's tasty, but he doesn't even know if he can reproduce it the next time. So researchers tried to patch AI's contradictions with algorithms like a detective sorting witness ta tales, right? At the top models like GPT-4 got a decent US map fix, but weaker ones turned into random dot chaos, right? I've refactored code to clean up logic and this shows the fix depends on solid base, right? So you'll see developers who use this all the time because they'll be working with code, they'll give it something and it can get really close, but then the more iterations you try to get it, it just actually gets worse and worse and worse. So that's why generally if it doesn't get it right the first time, you throw it away and you start over. And developers know this. And this is part of the reason why new AI systems are being set off to run and then you'll actually review which one of the tens are the closest and then go with that one. So AI excels at forecasting next moves like planet paths, but it can't explain the why behind them. Now, Noam Chomsky nailed it in his 2011 report saying that uh, stats mimic, but don't understand. So it's spot on for, for today's models, right? I can tell you why a glass spills over or a planet orbits. AI just predicts without the insight. So the Harvard study backs this perfect trajectories, zero grasp of gravity's laws. 
So some think bigger, some think bigger models will solve this problem, but Harvard study doubts that magic fix. It says the 109 million parameter model flopped and scaling up might actually just make the problem worse. So it's going to be interesting to see as folks like Elon Musk continue to build out and try to solve the problem with just brute force to see if they can continue to make progress on it. Um, generally speaking, as we've seen model scale, we've seen hallucination get worse. Now, AI can predict, but humans connect the dots into the why, and that's what makes humans and gives them that power, right? So I can explain, um, you know, different laws of things, but when, uh, but when you ask me why certain things are, I can fall back to those patterns. The Harvard, Harvard author admits that even humans hit a wall on ultimate whys, AI just earlier on that journey. So I've wrestled with complex problems and some answers stay behind, machine or not. It's like pondering why pineapples or pizza works, right? Delicious mystery, but with no full explanation. So this humbling truth unites us with AI in our quest to understand things. So we can keep pushing and keep trying to use AI, but we just need to make sure that we're really careful and understand its limitations. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a healthy discussion. I know all you guys are going to come out there out of the woodwork who love your AI systems and come tell me I'm wrong. And, and I can be wrong. I'm not saying I'm not wrong, but I love to have a healthy discussion. So make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure and like and subscribe. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers as well as to uh, build custom software solutions for companies. And here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't we don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems. It positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer.